everyone, it's Jana here from Photopic Photography. Today we will be working on this image here and turning it into something like this. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer and then grab uh, my spot healing brush and clear up the skin. So I will be cleaning some blemishes, hair and also I'll be changing between spot healing brush and patch tool according to the areas of the skin that needs to be cleaned. Then using exactly the same tools I'm going to clean some uh, spots on the background as well. Next I'm going to go to retouching kit number one and I'm going to use a natural tone brush to uh, give it kind of like a warm sunny look to the skin. So uh, with this brush you just brush all over the skin except eyes and mouth and also the clothes as well. So I'm going to lower my opacity to around 50% as I always do. Next I'm going to go to skin retouching brushes and I'm going to choose a natural smoother brush and as well the same way I'm going to go all over the skin using my uh, soft brush, stain on white color and lowering the opacity. Again, you don't go over the eyes or lips or nails, for example, just do only on the skin. So this is before and after. I'm going to merge my layers back again together, create a new layer, go to filter, camera roll filter, and here I'm going to increase my shadows. I just want to get rid of dark spots at the background. I want to light it up a little bit. Next, I will duplicate my layer again. Take a burn tool on mid tones and just create a little bit of a shadow to the bottom of my image. So, this will help the model to stand out a little bit more. Next, I would go to eye retouch brushes and I will choose a brush for uh, lighting up the whites of the eyes. And also using this brush, I will increase a little bit the shyness of the eyeshadows as well. So this is before and after. I might just lower the opacity a little bit on this as well and merge my layers back together. Okay, next I'm going to grab my Add Light brush and I'm going to just kind of create like a light halo around my model because this is how I like it in my pictures and as well it helps out to make the model to stand out even more. Okay, now we're going to be using actions to change the color tones of our image. So with this action here, I'm going to add a little bit of warm color to the image as well as it's going to soften the shadows. What I like about these actions is that it's all in layers. You can use a razor tool to actually remove the effect of the brush from the areas that you don't want it to be. Like for me, I want to remove it from the skin and you can just do it by staying on a folder. Basically, you can just select the folder and you can erase the effect of the action from all layers all at once. So, last but not least, I will be using Dusty Blue 
uh, action for this picture as well. So here, if you will be standing on this bottom layer here where it actually gives a blue color to the image, you can use a razor tool as well to remove this effect from the skin, for example, in my case, uh, from the flowers on I head, a little bit from the dress as well. So I'm using low opacity as well on my eraser tool because I don't want to remove it completely but with this color here, with this nice teal color at the background, I like it to be a little bit like a pinkish if the, if the model has a pink color like on her uh, flowers for example. I like the way how it looks pinkish peachy color together with this beautiful teal color at the background as well. It's been really easy and if you use this action it will definitely speed up the process of your photo editing and all the materials that I've used in this video will be linked in the description box below. You will be able to download them all for free from my website blog so you can use them anytime you want and uh, try it on your own photos.